I've been here at UC for four years. I'm about to graduate, sadly. Um, it's definitely bittersweet, but one of the things that I've noticed the four years that I've been here is that for every ounce of volunteer spirit that we have at the university, and trust me, we've, ha we've got a lot, <laughs> um, we are equaled in student apathy. Um, and that's something that really concerns me. And what I love about uh, opportunities like these and conferences like these is that, that they give people like me a chance to speak my mind and a chance to be heard when I otherwise wouldn't have that opportunity. And I guess that fits perfectly with, with the theme, which is a whirlwind of opportunity. So the other day, I was talking to a group of friends and it just happened to be the executive board of the Black Law Students Association, pre-law division, extremely long name, on campus. Um, and we were talking about student apathy and they had noticed some of the things that I was noticing about the students on campus. And so what we were running into is that every time we would try to plan events, we would have to compete with the more popular and definitely more sociable Greek letter organizations on campus. And when you're trying to have a program that's um, promoting civic engagement and community awareness, and you're competing with a Greek letter organization, students are more likely to go to Greek events. Um, and to get this out of the way, I'm not anti-Greek. <laughs> I am in a sorority myself, and I guess I could be the quote-unquote sorority girl, but I do sometimes wonder whether our priorities are in the right place. And so we begin to question, okay, why is it that whenever we have events the same days as the Greeks, nobody ever shows up to our event? Literally one day we had an event and like one person showed up and it was just us. So we did a little bit of, I guess, soul searching and we discovered that students were so concerned with the social aspects of college and it, it was kind of disheartening. They wanted the exclusivity, the parties, the step shows and all of those things that Greek life offered and we weren't providing that. And one of the things that we really wanna work on is encouraging students to be passionate and to find those things that they wanna change about the world. And forever the optimist, I, oh, I'm sorry, I actually believe that every single person has something that they're passionate about and every single person has that one thing that they wanna change about their world. And so I took this optimism one day and I asked a friend of mine, hey, what are you passionate about? What is that one thing that you want to change about the world? And this was her answer. Awkward silence. Okay, not even the crickets chirp. And needless to say, I was, <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> needless to say, <laughs> I was slightly disappointed at that answer. And so I tried another approach. I knew that this friend wanted to go to law school, so I asked, why do you want to go to law school? And her answer was, well, I want to be a divorce lawyer, so dot, 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 fill in the blanks. I was very disappointed with that answer, but I had to ask myself why it was I was so disappointed because I was being all high and mighty, and I was like, why, I, how dare she want to go into the same career field, career field that I want to go into and not do it for the right reasons? But I had to stop myself because Alex's reasons aren't necessarily the right reasons, and what she's passionate about aren't the same things that I'm passionate about. So after a little more thinking and talking to this friend, I discovered that she is passionate about something, but what she's passionate about is dance. She's on a couple of dance teams here at UT, and she's really great at it. And so I think there's a way for her to combine her passion for dance and then find that one thing that she wants to change about the world and go for it. And that's really important, but it's more important to remember that we can't get so caught up in the things that we're passionate about and the things that we want to change um, and push others to the side. So I was watching a TED talk a couple of weeks ago as I was trying to prepare my speech, um, and it was by Caroline Casey. And on her 17th birthday, she discovered that she was legally blind, and despite that, she um, she was able to establish a very successful career for herself as a global analyst. Um, as the years passed, her vision started to worsen and she realized that she wouldn't be able to continue the job that she was doing. And she also realized that that's not something that she really wanted to do anyway. And so in this amazing moment of self-discovery, she decided that she wanted to be one of her favorite characters, which was Mowgli from The Jungle Book. That is what she was gonna do with her life. So as much as I love the jungle, jungle Book, I'm a Disney fan, I love Disney. <laughs> as much as I love The Jungle Book, we all know that she could not be Mowgli, but what she did do was decide to become an elephant handler. And 
Um, I remember her mentioning that she had no idea how to do it, but somehow she found herself in India meeting this wonderful elephant named Kanchi, and her and Kanchi rode across India, and, were a and during that ride, they were able to raise money for 6,000 cataract surgeries. In addition to that, she became a social entrepreneur. She started um, an organization for Asian elephant conservation and an organization named Kanchi after her elephant that was dedicated to reframing disabilities in the business world. She is the perfect example of how to combine your passions and those things that you want to change about the world and do something about it. So let's say you're one of the students who is passionate about the social aspects of Greek life. You can use that and you can do something with it. If you're in a Greek letter organization, you can host programs that promote, I don't know, advocacy and civic engagement and those things that students might not other students would might not otherwise be interested in. And so what I want to encourage is for everybody in here to take a moment and think about the one thing that they're passionate about. And then think about that one thing in the world that you want to see change. Because I, I could write an entire speech on how many things that I think could be changed about the world. And the fact that there's so much to be done leaves no room for excuses when it comes to doing something about it. So if dance is what you love, then do it. Dance, dance with a purpose, teach dance. Whatever it is, whatever it's gonna take for you to make your passion a change agent. So I want everybody to take those two things, your passion and the one thing that you wanna change about the world, and I want you to get caught up in the whirlwind. Thank you.